I, I don't have any idea on what I'm going to talk about in this video, but, um, yeah, I mean, a lot of things <laughs> to <laughs> go through and do, I'm just, I just hit record, I don't know, um, I literally, I forgot that I have to record a video, and it is 2.36 in the morning before I upload a video. If you don't realize my upload schedule, every single other day, so every two days, I will upload a video at 6 a.m. PST. And that is the content you are able to watch every single day or every single other day uh, at 6 p.m. or 6 a.m. PST. I will upload a video to YouTube, a long form video and yeah so this is the one i happened to record obviously nothing really of intention with hitting the record button on this one sometimes uh, this could be really good sometimes it can be really bad um, just kind of going over some random whatnot stuff i'm gonna be selling i'm gonna be offloading pretty much a lot of my um stuff i've re i'll probably go over some youtube video ideas and series ideas i have for the future potentially in this video um i'm gonna try out to do uh just full 100 percent volume on this video uh, usually i'll put it at like 70 percent volume and then uh just uploading it and but i had there's been some people that say that the audio is too quiet um one person said that last time so just gonna try to upload this one at full volume so let me know how that is if you do see a difference um but yeah so just kind of going over some whatnot inventory stuff i like to run obviously on these stuff i'm getting quite a little bit of a discount like these are all one dollar per and then i get about a 70 percent or 75 percent discount after that or some give or take um so but just so people aren't like hitting me up with three dollar dalvin cook uh, insert rookies from Optic Don Russ. Uh, don't pay that full sticker, and that was from the local card shop. So preferably would be to get it as cheap as possible always. But cool stuff like this out of forty nine patch from Origins of Michael Pittman, Romeo Dobbs. He just got uh, actually suspended for a game for missing two practices. But um, yeah, so I was trying to book. I was hoping to book my hotel for a card show I'm going to, realizing that for this time around, it's going to cost a lot more than it did last time at the same exact hotel. So trying to figure that out and what the game plan is there, I think, I don't know, uh, technically, I'd probably be in a better idea and better... Um, better guesstimate on what on if i should do the uh, hotel the same way just being okay with the higher price or not um after this wednesday stream and then um but yeah so kind of thinking about that thinking of how to figure that out um technically so i have a video idea of a video series idea um i uh, I know there's, like, a whole bunch of people who do, like, video ideas and video series of them just trying to get out of debt. Um, I am currently into student loan debt. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, there's the repayment program they have for the student loans. Um... So, it's not like, you know, it's it, it's a it's a weird topic to talk about, but um, I feel like that would be a really cool idea is just to try to get out of debt and bringing you guys along the journey, um, and then potentially after that, I have an idea of switching it to something else, switching that series to something else. Technically, we have made some progress on the one dollar challenge so there's a challenge for one uh to uh make as much money off of one dollar as possible there's an up some updates to that i sold some more stuff of it 
technically I probably could have um, bought, like, you know, done some purchases. I just kind of forgot. And, you know, but technically, you know, summer buys would have been really nice to include in that, but kind of just didn't remember until too late. I literally remembered while I was packing up my whatnot orders that I had sold for that. I was like, oh, that would have been a, actually a good idea to use that purchase um, for the challenge there. But, oh yeah, we don't um, have any sponsors on the channel. So yeah, all these videos that you're seeing, they're not sponsored by anyone. I'm not getting paid by any company other than the ones that run advertisements on the channel. And I have no um, say or, you know, I can't like say I don't want this company or that company to be on the advertisements. And um, yeah, so I haven't gotten reached out by any company or anything. I technically have reached out to a whatnot employee that I've known beforehand um, about getting a potential sponsorship deal or partnership deal with them. And he hasn't reached back to me. I reached out to him on the whatnot platform. So it was probably a, not the best idea to reach out to him on, but um, just kind of hoping that eventually someone will, you know, come around and see what we're growing here in the community that you know you guys support so much like i i think even just um looking through some of like the last videos there's like 30 comments something like that like insane amount of likes like you guys are watching like a ton of time you guys are clicking through the videos like no other like th more than five percent of it is like my click through rates more than five percent the advertisement like the actual uh, rpm and cpm are wild to me also which is very much um, very appreciated you guys couldn't do anything without you guys but yeah so i'm gonna be offloading a whole bunch like literally all my good stuff that i have because i am preparing for that card show like just a ton of david like even david montgomery like just some slight rookies rookie patch here out of 100 there's that cool mac out of 35 um that's i go live each and every wednesday at 6 p.m pst i run through 300 to 400 cards or technically auctions and yeah those go live all at one dollar and typically uh now i like to do five and ten seconds on death five seconds on death has really seemed to um it's so much faster pace and honestly sometimes i'll get a higher amount than i would if i ran it at 10 seconds i've realized so it's kind of like you run through a lot more cards and you um you get higher amounts so why not sell via that program the or that program the five second sudden death situation so also if you don't know what whatnot is i'll kind of explain this um just because I, I did have a question about that in particular i might try to answer some questions that i remember off the top of my head but there'll be a card stand i'm technically using a card stand right now to record this video but so like just imagine this is a card stand here let's just use this so um i'll put up on a card stand a card in a top loader and new penny sleeve is uh that's kind of my new my new uh mindset on things is everything to be in a new penny sleeve and a new top loader because it's just so much more presentable um and also if you are going to be selling stuff rapid fire like that five seconds they have five seconds to actually make a decision so let me just, I, I know I saw one top loader in here, like this one. Like this is an absolutely thrash top loader. Like absolutely thrash. If you're gonna make a split decision in five to 10 seconds uh, in order for you to want to buy this card, why, like, you know what I mean? Like obviously I did that at first, right? I, I would, I, I mean, 
I would use this top loader. Obviously, maybe not this one, but I would use thrash top loaders. Um, just sell them as I've got them, right? But as now time has gone on and all that, like, I mean, this card has a little bit of surface stuff, but, um, you know, definitely not as bad as it looks in this absolutely wild penny sleeve and then this wild top loader. Um, you know, so you like, you can see, obviously it does have a little bit of flop here, but you can easily tell that this card is not as thrashed as, um, once, you know, once it looked like in the, in the top loader. Um, also I am monetized now on YouTube, so I am earning money via the ads and there's like some, I have some, uh, uh, referral links down below and all that there's one of them that's for the ryan's cards llc discord server uh that i've been you know i i have some referrals for that so i thank you guys very much and i i'm glad that you guys are you know you guys have taken a chance in that server and i'm pretty sure there's tons of really amazing deals for you know low end high end to sell cards on there lots of cards um, like lots like actual bulk deals of cards you can even on there you can even like type in like there's a channel just of what you're sor searching for so you can type that into the chat and people will reach back to you or you know reach out to you um, if you ever like say if you're o always looking for david montgomery david montgomery is your pc you could type in that channel david montgomery he's my pc i'll pay very 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 strong for him and then even in like even like months to come people will still reach out to you um obviously you're not going to hit get like 10 messages a day well depending on what you type in there i guess because if you're, you're going to type in there i'm paying 120 percent of comps for every single card or something like that right if you type that in there then probably in a month time you're still going to get maybe five ten messages a day so something like that depending um, obviously just kind of making up an example, but if you put Dave Montgomery, I'm buying at 150% of comp on his rare stuff or something like that, right? Um, uh, then maybe you'll get a message a day, maybe a message every week, uh, depending. Uh, but I put out in that channel, I'll put out, I'm looking for low end, buying low end NFL lots, and then people reach out to me. Um, sometimes there's very, very great deals that get reached out to me. Sometimes I just can't do anything with them. I don't really worry too much. I just, you know, keep s sending that out in chat and people will see that I am buying and uh, then reach out to me or um, they won't. So, yeah, sometimes I also, you miss out on deals. Um, sometimes you see a deal that's very, very, very amazing and that you would have, you know, bought for more and then... Um, it's already sold at their ask or even they took an offer. Uh, so it's kind of one of those really wild things that can happen in the Discord server is the deals that you will find and see that have been made available to the purchases. There's like, I have like a link tree. It has like a Amazon Associates link. So if you're ever like, trying to buy stuff on Amazon, if it's like after 24 hours and you click my link, I'll earn a little commission. It's not much. I don't think I've actually ever earned. Actually, I think I have technically a tiny bit, but I think that's because um, I made like a review video on there. And yeah, that was what earned me money. But I don't think I've earned any money off of that particular referral link in the description of my YouTube videos would be my guess. And yeah, so I'm really hoping that the next two weeks go really, really well because it'll kind of put me over that edge again to where I'm, you know, really happy with the um, situation on hand, like my, my cash on hand and, uh, you know, buying that hotel room and all that. But um, you never really know. And, you know, that's the kind of the game of whatnot is you never know. Next week, you can have one amazing week and the next week you have your worst week. You could have the worst week and the next week you could have your, your best week. It's always a, it's always just a, a complete game of, of chance and you never really know. 
So it's kind of like one of those things, you know, it, once you have success, you kind of want to take, you know, full, like you want to yeah, go full on board and, you know, hope that success continues and all that. It's kind of the same with YouTube and all that. Once you're seeing success, you want to continue and doing the same process as you have been. Uh, obviously, you know, probably <laughs> it, it really just depends as i say probably wouldn't recommend anyone to make the same exact content i do because even i'm just talking into a microphone right now and video camera well technically just my phone but you know what i mean like video and audio and i'm just showing cards um i mean there's some really cool cards right some just really cool stuff that obviously needs to find its way to a good home um, for me, I think a lot of things that, like, um, I'm kind of trying to, I need to consider, um, potentially just selling off bulk lots. That might be what I do to make up the difference of what I thought I would have to spend and what I'm going to have to spend on a hotel. Um, it's really not the end of the world either. I mean, technically, I just, you know, might have a little, tiny bit less cash than I was thinking to spend. But, um, yeah, just kind of something to remember for my next time when I book that hotel is definitely try to lock in a very cheap price and then being okay with um being okay with if a different situation pops up where i can get it cheaper so um yeah it, it's one of those things I, I haven't really this is like my first year actually you know, booking hotels and going to card shows. Uh, actually, yeah. So um, I went to my first card show back in like February. And that was at the East Bay Card Show in Concord, California. Uh, it's actually uh, right next to my hometown, which is Martinez, California. If, you, uh, if you've heard of it in the Bay, I was born in Martinez when I was, and I grew up in Concord. So the uh, pair there are two towns that my family knows very well and that was why when i saw that card show the first one uh i figured i would take the journey out there honestly it wasn't the um probably wouldn't it wouldn't be my first choice if i was to know just the situation of the card show it probably wouldn't be my first choice um i technically i went down there because i could see my dad which is a whole long story there too, but um, he is located in uh, Martinez right now. Uh, so the um, so the trip out there to me made sense because I could see him and have a trip out there to my first card show at the same time, as well as finally see my dad again after the amount of time I hadn't seen him before. So, for me, that was, like, the, the, it made the most sense at the time. Technically, when I went down there, uh, I, I had some food poisoning, so it was not the most fun, uh, train ride home. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that was definitely wild to, um, it was definitely experience. I probably wouldn't change it just because of how fun the experience was. Like I, I literally got to do, you know, everything myself. It was really fun. It, it's, uh, I don't know. It was definitely, I would probably do it differently is the whole thing that I'm trying to get at is there was a lot of, um, there's a lot of things that, you know, would have done differently, but that's kind of the name of the game, right? You, you gotta learn. You gotta learn to actually, you know, <laughs> to actually go through. Like, you're not gonna just know how to do something right away. And that was kind of one, another comment someone left was, um, it's all just a learning process. We're all just learning. So no, nothing's gonna be perfect at the, uh, you know, at the first time you ever do it. So yeah, it's just like life. You're not gonna... No one's perfect, and it is all just a learning experience. Um, 
the biggest things I would think that get commented a lot are how do I source inventory? So uh, I kind of have a video on that, you know, a while back I made. It was, it's mainly uh, card shows, online deals, card shop, trade nights. Those are the mixture of the four biggest places I get my inventory from. Um, honestly, I'm realizing since I was set up to the show, the value bins are almost where it's at um, for me. I mean, because, well, I already knew they were at, for, that's where all the deals and where I get all my inventory are at. But um, just because I know I put a lot of really great deals in the 50 cent and 25 cent bin, or at least really cool cards to collect, you know, um, and technically to resell too. This is going to be a sick card to run this next week. I forgot I had this, but um, these Pandora's in the light, right lighting, they are insane. And then in the wrong lighting, they are horrendous also. But like, look at that. Like, literally, if the right angle and the right lighting, like, insane. Literally wild. Like, look like a... Looks like an alien. Alien design. But, um... Yeah, so I'm kind of going to try to go to a card shop also. That's what this is. Is a card shop in Chico, California, which is a little bit away from me. Um, but... It's somewhere where I'm considering moving, especially if this card shop is really good and really nice because that could help me out a lot to actually be able to properly source the amount and the quality of inventory that I do like to provide for my customers. And yeah, again, I'm, I'm not really tied to any uh, platform to sell. I've never been even in... Uh, talks with anyone technically no one's ever even reached out to me about sponsoring the channel or working on a partnership deal or anything like that i think the the main thing with that is um i don't you know i don't show my face so there it's obviously not as um you know business friendly i don't i don't know i don't understand that obviously um you know, obviously, it's not the, I don't know, it, for me, I'm not worried about it, like, I think for me, a lot of the thing with not showing my face is the benefits outweigh the, the worries, um, it's just, I don't know, there's, there's certain situations, right, like, I'm not gonna have to literally watch my back the entire card show, just because I've, you know, in a sports card YouTuber, where, as in, um, you know, as in, um, I, I might have gotten a sponsorship deal by now. I might have reached 2,000 subscribers. Uh, it's just not something for me that I'm worried about. Um, it's also, you know, it's also, obviously, you know, and meeting you guys would be a very, very big and, you know, cool thing to do also with the um with the idea of you know my face being known but um i'm sure that i don't know i obviously yeah I, for me it's i'm not it's just not about recognition i don't know i i would rather just be me i, I mean i love i love selling cards um i have you know love cards since i was eight years old so it's not like it's not like I wouldn't be doing this without uh, getting a sponsorship deal for you know ten thousand dollars or whatever the uh the big the the youtubers are are getting I don't even really consider myself a, a youtuber I mean <laughs> I don't know there's a certain point where it's like I don't know Am I the anti-YouTuber? Because, uh, honestly, I could call out exactly how some of these sports card YouTubers have been made to light. And if people realized actually what it was that these sports card YouTubers have actually, you know, made themselves known for, then you would 
also just being a little bit less, you know, uh, high, highly thinking of these people. There's a lot of different um, ways to actually, you know, succeed and um, hit your target audience. Oh, goodness. I've slept way too much today, so I don't know why I'm yawning. Cool little NT true right there. I think it's a true. I don't know. It might not be a true, but really cool card on card autograph. Three color patch. Brian Edwards. He was a stud for uh, South Florida, I think, what, or something like that. Is it South Carolina? Is it USC? Might be South Carolina. Uh, he, I, I'm surprised we didn't do much more with him. Um, he had a couple good plays and games with uh, Derek Carr, though. But yeah, definitely left before Derek Carr left, I'm pretty sure. Um,. I think he was even on the Saints again. It's kind of funny too, cause the um, the the New Orleans Saints is pretty much just the New Orleans Raiders at this point. It's kind of like how we get like all, a lot of players from the Patriots. We had a whole, whole bunch of players and uh, coaches from the Patriots, and then also we kind of get a lot of players from like the the 49ers and technically the, the the chargers too some points not really so much the chargers i remember there's a little bit of a little bit of a um time frame there i think that was because i want to say it was who was it it was i think trent williams was that who it was trent williams um <laughs> and then michael crabtree also the 49er and then technically they got um who is the lineman? Is that Trent Williams? And I'm just completely mixing him up. I'm talking about the wide receiver from the Chargers uh, that played with Michael Crabtree. And then I'm talking about the uh, lineman for the Raiders that is now on the um, 49ers. Both kind of just switching or technically. I'm talking about Crabtree and then him. And I'm talking about the uh, the other guy. I think he has a similar name to Trent Williams is who I'm thinking of. Uh, I want to say Mike Williams, but that's not him. <laughs> he's not him because he's on the uh on the jets right now i don't know i don't know why i'm getting so mixed up with you know, who i'm talking about right now who am i talking about right now with the uh who went on the raiders oh my goodness i'm not gonna put this in am i the raiders wide receiver that played with michael crabtree and amari cooper and then he came from the chargers who is that Oh my goodness, let me look him up. Oh my goodness, it is close to his name. It's Tyrell Williams. So he played on the Chargers, and he was actually pretty halfway decent. It was Ty it was literally Tyrell Williams and Mike Williams and then uh Keenan Allen were the three wide receivers for the Bears there for quite some time. And then Tyrell Williams came to the Raiders. And honestly, I don't think he did a ton. Like I think I don't know. He he might have had a you know a couple seasons with us, but he didn't do a ton, and he was like very hyped up. Um, obviously, we had some good games with him, a part of him, and all that. But he was definitely supposed to be um, supposed to be that guy, but I don't think he w really was that guy for us. I don't know. I might be wrong, just off the top of my head. Um, I know I have some cards of him in my personal collection. Well, that's also another thing is um, one day I might just uh, sell off all my personal collection, even like all my Raider stuff, potentially not the Max Crosby's and the Charles Woodson's. And then there's like certain cards too. I probably won't sell off. Um, but yeah, I might do like a <sighs> yawns. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> the, I might do a, um, a, like a whatnot stream of just me selling off my personal collection so that's like raiders um at the a's and then the um kings the sacramento kings so i might just do a stream like that where i do um uh, you know something like that and that's you know i have a couple of different ideas there um how to do that but yeah so it's a whole bunch of it's a whole bunch of nothingness <laughs> 
just joking. I, I I do have some goals. I will say this. I do have some goals for my next card show. And that would be to get a really nice Max Crosby card. That's goal number one. Um, goal number two would probably be to buy a... Um, I, I say a nice, but a, a, you know, a relatively decent Justin Herbert card. Um, because I sold my Justin Herbert Mosaic rookie autograph. It's a hobby. That was from Hobby. Um, so it was like the true, not like the retail rookie scripts or whatever, and not the, uh, no huddle version. Uh, but the, um, the, I sold that a couple, like two years ago, I think it was around for $425. And I, last time I checked, I literally talked about this in a video. It was like 175 bucks for a mosaic rookie autograph of him. So, I mean, I could get one back at you know half less than half of what i sold it for depending on what the price they're doing now or i can look to even get just a better better one um i kind of have some game plans also with my collection and all that and potentially looking for some stuff i mean shoot it would be really nice to get like a, a nice little case sponsor that would be a that'd be really nice technically i've seen um some youtubers who <laughs> um definitely you know uh definitely have the sponsorship by them but um it'll be really nice because i mean man i just go to to go to shows and be like i want to fill up my case so as i was saying um there's i want like you know like i'm not gonna say their name because they're not <laughs> they're not sponsoring the channel um technically they sierra nevada sports cards in chico california has helped me out with, like a ton uh, during the card show, um, like, they, they made that entire card show, like, worth it and more for me personally, and, yeah, I cannot thank them enough for that, um, it's also one of the reasons why I want to go down there and check out and see if that is potentially going to be the future of the life endeavors there, um, one of the big things, like, when I'm talking about with the case sponsors, um, I don't know, I, I, I would love to go, be able to go around to shows and just be like, I want to fill up, fill up a complete case, and then go and stream on a given platform and just sell everything at a dollar, right, and that, that would be, you know, that'd be so nice, like, I don't know, I would end up actually buying like super 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 wild cards too right if it, if it was all sponsored and you know i hadn't didn't have to worry and you know like it, i'd be running like wild things um obviously you know uh, within reason right i'm not gonna run uh shohei otani rookie autograph you know true red out of five right for five seconds sudden death and <laughs> even though that might be completely completely wild um i don't even know how that would even work i don't think it would work <laughs> just because of the sheer amount of like um like people just trying to swipe just like swiping 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 and then ending up not actually having the you know like someone types in their full amount yeah i just don't know i don't think that would ever actually be able to be a thing but man that would be wild that would be hectic um obviously maybe not that exact example but you know like a banger 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 card for uh five seconds sudden death at one dollar that would be wild um but yeah, I mean, shoot, you know, I'm not, I'm not, yeah, I don't know, I'm not, ah, you can sell how, how torn I am, I don't know, I don't want to sell out per se, right, I'm not trying to sell out, and I want to still make videos like this where I'm able to just do whatever, whatever I want. So for me to actually find a sponsor that would be, you know, that sees the, you know, the actual beneficiary uh, or the benefits of having a community like this where you can just, you know, like I can just sit here, talk, show cards. That's all I do, right? I don't like, 
I don't go wild and I don't go, I don't jump in the trash cans and I don't jump, <laughs> I don't, you know, uh, I don't coin flip the difference of, you know, a thousand to zero dollars. Uh, I don't, um, I don't, you know, break tens of, you know, thousands of dollars of cases and then have customers receive, you know, a hundred bucks, you know, so, um, I don't know, for me, I also don't, uh, all these videos I don't like, um, I don't use shorts as much as I probably should, but that's also a thing, like, I, I know exactly how these YouTubers get their following and get their, their subscriber count and all that and get known, I could do the same exact thing, um, if I really wanted to, do I want to? No, I don't. It just, for me, it doesn't. For me, I have kind of like some, some, I don't know, some kind of mind frame and morals behind the growth of the YouTube channel. I'm not worried about the, like, now that I earn money on YouTube, um, I could care less if I have 100,000 to 1,000. If there's 1,000 of you guys that enjoy these videos, that actually get value and entertainment, or, uh, you know, they just enjoy the time that it is that I, you know, talk on these YouTube videos. Sometimes I'm just literally rambling about nonsense, like today. Um, but, I mean, there you guys, I don't know. You guys have been a major part of my life for the last... <laughs> five months or however long now like four months three months three and a half months something like that um just each and every other day i record a video or at least each and every day i upload a, a video um a lot of times i'll do last minute second uh, mass second videos like this where i'm just gonna upload it i'm not gonna wa be able to watch this completely and edit it and you know like this is completely raw unedited footage for the most part right I, like i might include a um <laughs> a subscribe logo and then like a, a shout out to my whatnot randomly in the video and that's literally all that i'll do um th that's literally all that i'll do is those two things and then um maybe crop out if i'm like uh, notice anything too too wild of like a pause or something like that um but yeah it's kind of just it's kind of just me i don't know it, it's it's some of the most real content that there is i don't know just talking showing cards um i mean you guys saw me play with this thing for how long too <laughs> either somehow still watching i don't know i have severe <laughs> what i realized i have adhd so for me i played minecraft a lot growing up literally since i was like a shoot when I, since i was like 11 i played minecraft until like um like like uh, like religiously play minecraft till i was like 18 <laughs> till i went off to college did i play um did i play minecraft like pretty much religiously uh, you know sometimes i would play other games and all that and sometimes i'd go off the phase but uh definitely love minecraft that's pro that probably my favorite game of all time technically csgo and counter-strike um if you don't know what csgo is it's it's a first uh first person shooter game uh strategy based uh with the and with an economy it's kind of like valorant if you've heard of that or it's kind of like hmm what else what other games is it like valorant is the other big one uh, it's kind of if you don't know those two i'm not sure what the other ones would be it's kind of but it's kind of a it's like a 5v5 uh, economy based game so each each round um you'll get money and then you know the next round you'll have to get your gear situated and all that that's it's one of the the big the big two games that i played rocket league was a, a third or you know fourth technically because call of duty was one that got me into video games uh big big time um but yeah i mean kind of a lot of people have the same exact story as uh minecraft 
uh, Call of Duty, then Minecraft, then, then um, CSGO. A lot of people have that same exact story, but for me, uh, doing something, right? I mean, even just forgot I was playing with this thing. Doing something um, and, you know, not doing nothing is a big big thing about this because if i wasn't doing this card thing i would be you know uh, what would i mean I'd be, I'd be working a job uh, barely getting by right uh, whatever you know i want to be i want to have the connections i currently have if i didn't do the card thing if i hadn't made this the thing i was doing for the last you know six months i'm just saying six months because um, I know I started uploading again in February. Um, I want to get into, this is another thing, uh, sorry, I'm going to try to end it off after this one, but I'm going to try to get into opening packs up. So making shorts about opening packs and literally just opening the pack. I'm not going to do anything fancy. I'm not going to like, you know, like I'm not going to, I don't know. I'm gonna just, just going to open packs, um, like get like a, a pack of like, whatever like if it's probably gonna just gonna be a cheap stuff and just open it and um then yeah then i'll get all the rookies out get all the the bigger bigger names and then donate the rest is what i'll do and it kind of that way uh, the breach goes more and more um even though i know exactly how it, i i if if anyone would want to blow up on YouTube and like wouldn't care about the um, <laughs> the moral, uh, the you know like any like not like you know uh, there's plenty of different channels I can point you to that have done this exact same thing. It's literally it's literally a cheat code, um, you know. I I don't know. I, it's just funny to me because I, I do realize that is like I don't know if they've realized that's how they blew up or like you know like they they don't care they don't care they just they just want popularity um it's kind of like the same thing with uh the sports card radio people I I I I know I'll say this um I had the opportunity of introducing myself to him that was the first time actually no that was the second time I'd seen him um and both times i did not introduce myself to him i i no no um nothing against them at all it's just for me drama and i don't know like there's like i'll i even like tune into like some of their videos sometimes like just when i'm like absolutely bored and i can't find anything to watch and like on their live streams they'll be going through like facebook pages or like instagram pages of just girls and being like yep this one or something like that like i'm i don't know i don't understand i don't understand it's like completely the opposite of you know like someone i, I don't know like yeah it's yeah for me it's just, they stand for the complete opposite of what i in you know personally believe um i don't know there if if it was like a i thought honestly i thought it could be like a, a thing where they just you know are actually friends with everybody behind the scenes and they didn't actually hate people like for example being mojo sports right they they genuinely do not like him um for me i don't know i i don't understand what you know I, i'm probably not gonna put this in there just to be honest but so yeah um <laughs> yeah i'm probably not gonna put this in there all right so there's i i'm gonna have to figure out how i'm gonna want to make this a video <laughs> technically i'm just gonna prop out some stuff and leave in some stuff and uh hopefully the um the yawns and the <laughs> the pauses aren't too much for you guys uh technically someone yeah i'm gonna do the 100 percent volume thing this time let me know how that is if you guys have made it this far i'm hoping that someone tells me if it's too loud or if it's too quiet still if it's too quiet i just don't know what to do for you guys i can increase the volume i guess but um yeah so 
kind of get going because technically I think we've got about three hours till football. Oh, that's also another thing. On Sundays, my views go down a lot, I've realized, um, because it's football. So, there. I mean, I'm glad, you know, it's kind of cool because I'm glad that football's on. But the, the views definitely get uh, a hit taken um, out of their numbers. Uh, it kind of actually picks up after, um, during the um, Sunday night football game, which is kind of a little weird. I guess people aren't watching all the football games they want to watch there. I mean, it's a lot of action the uh, first couple hours, and, you know, some people just want to relax, so it kind of does make sense, too. Um, yeah, so I got to figure out what I want to do for the Whatnot show this Wednesday, what cards I want to focus on, what cards I want to, you know, offload. Like, I'll probably take out the Dobbs. I'll probably, you know, uh, get stuff ready for that, make sure that I have an adequate amount of really cool stuff for the stream and then making sure that i'm able to kind of hit some of my goals and my targets with what i want to sell um but yeah so potentially i'll try to do a um a video of me going over what sold it, it's a little it takes a lot of time after doing that um, but yeah, I mean, technically I'm saving a lot of time because I'm doing the five seconds on death ones now. So we'll see. I'm going to get going and, uh, get this video started to be up for you guys. Appreciate you very much for watching and I hope you have a good one. I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.